First and foremost, I just want to uh, follow up with my baptism. I have so much love and peace in my heart after that. It was truly a magical experience. Um, but I am coming on here today to speak about uh, how scared I was about talking about my faith and my love for God anywhere, literally. Because um, I throughout my life I have known multiple people who are atheists or who have a hard time believing in God and I never knew my self-worth or what I was capable of for even standing up and speaking my own truth right and it's taking me until I'm 39 and a half years old to actually speak my truth and what I really stand for um with that being said that I do feel a lot of empathy for people who have gone through trauma with, from religion and who have people who have shunned uh, a negative light onto what God is and who he actually is. He is love and he's not here to make you feel less than you deserve. And so from the sincerity of my heart, I'm sorry that for anyone who has gone through that, but it's also not okay that I can't speak about my faith and still be cordial and friendly with people who don't believe in God. Like, it's okay that we both have different opinions, but it's not okay to hate each other. That's not gonna get us anywhere, right? And so it's really been important to me to learn um, how to use my voice and speak up for what I believe in. And yesterday was such a, a vital moment in my life to actually stand up for what I believe in and I had my children there next to me and it was such a beautiful experience and I do believe in God and I do believe that he is here with the kindest heart like he is in our hearts he's in everyone's hearts and it doesn't matter the mistakes you've made in your past you know you can start today and start fresh and you know live for Jesus and live for God and um, live with the universal laws live with nature like do what's morally right by doing good and being the best version of yourself not hurting people not cheating on your you know husband or wife not um, belittling people like there's just so much negativity in this world and also not actually talking negative to yourself like truly learning how to love yourself and that's where you know my coaching program like has helped guide me throughout this whole time is like since I've gotten sober is truly the things that I do every single day has built my confidence up enough to actually come out here and speak to you guys about the love I have for God and what's in my heart and what I'm truly supposed to do. He's given me the strength to get up every single day to work on my mind and my body and my soul. And, and through that, you know, doing things like that are good for me, not harming me, not putting toxic things into my body. And that's what is really important about um, this whole thing my whole coaching program, I guess, actually, like it's all coming together really beautifully is that, you know, if you really want to uh, get in touch with your heart and, and really, you know, have a relationship with Jesus, it all starts with taking care of yourself and loving who you are and loving the body and the mind that God has given you and provided. Like we are all gifts here and it's a beautiful thing. And so with that being said, I just want people to understand like, and I don't know why I'm needing to justify this. I think it's my own personal issue that I have to justify that I'm not here to preach to people that don't want to hear my story or tell them they need to go, you know, find Jesus. I'm here, I'm not here to preach. I'm here to be a story of action. I'm here to be a story for God to show you that he truly still loved me no matter what I did. And he always has been there. And see, I've always believed in God since I was a little girl. I remember uh, 
one of my first favorite songs is Madonna Like a Prayer. And I know it's not in the same context that it's actually written. But when I was a little girl, it meant completely, I would like sing it and I thought he was like talking to me because God talks to me through music. And it was such a beautiful thing for me. Um, and he still does actually. And so, and he's saved me in so many ways. And so I'm here to be a testimony for him to show you that God is love. And he's not here to, you know, shun you or like put fear in you. That fear is, is the dark, the, the, the devil, that spiritual warfare. And so with that being said, I just, um, I appreciate everyone who's come and congratulated me. It was such a, an amazing experience and I have so much love for everyone. And thank you for sharing this beautiful journey with me.